Hello everyone, my name is Hardman Canada and I can speak with my telepathic powers because of my mustache. Today's episode will be the unboxing of the Xbox Series X. At the time I'm recording this video, the Xbox Series X is the new generation video game console made by Microsoft. Just like the PlayStation 5, this console is extremely difficult to have. It's practically impossible to find one. Some people still think the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X doesn't exist. I will tell you how I got the Xbox Series X. A few weeks ago, I had a phone call from my local video game store. The person on the phone told me that I was the next one on the list to buy the Xbox Series X and I can come tomorrow to buy the system or they will call the next person on the list. I was so shocked that I did not move for 30 seconds. I didn't say anything for 30 seconds. My jaw dropped to the floor. It took my brain 40 seconds to process that information. I was on the waiting list for one and a half year. I've completely forgotten about that. For one and a half year, it was impossible for me to buy the console. It was only available online. Each time the new Xbox was available to buy online, before I could even finish writing down my payment information, it was all sold out in a few seconds. It's insane to be on a waiting list for one and a half year just to have the privilege to buy a console. I've never seen anything like that in my life as a gamer. My local video game store had a very great idea. Uh, because instead of... Uh, my local video game store had a very great idea to give normal people like me a chance to buy a next generation console. What they are doing is that they order all the video game console to their local video game store and they call the person on the list to buy them. I think everyone should, I think every video game store should do something like that. I had the PlayStation 5 since day one because of my mustache. Look at the size difference between the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 is bigger, but it's faster. The Xbox Series X is smaller, but it's more powerful. This is the battle between speed and power. Sonic vs Knuckle, Flash vs Power Girl. Squeak Silver vs the Hulk. This is a debate that existed since the dawn of humanity. I will now explain to all of you why this is called the Xbox Series X. In 2001, Microsoft released the Xbox One, the starting point. In 2005, Microsoft released the Xbox 360, the second generation of Xbox. It was called like that because it was in the middle of a rotation to turn around a circle. In 2013, Microsoft released the Xbox One. Yes, the third generation of Xbox is shared the same name as the third generation of Xbox because it came back to the starting point. <laughs> this is the worst name for a video game console in history because it's confusing. And in 2020, Microsoft released the fourth generation of console, 
the Xbox Series X. It's called like that because it's making another series of rotation around a circle in a 360 degrees. Microsoft have a very strange logic when it comes to naming their product. The Xbox Series X is backward compatible. Not only we can play game from the Series X, but we can also play game from the Xbox One, Xbox 360, and the Xbox One, as long as they are in the list of compatible games. Some games will have improved graphic and performance. I will show you some games that I tested on my new console. This game is Blue Dragon. It's an RPG where you go on an adventure to stop a purple sorcerer called Nene. I had this game when I had the Xbox 360, but I never had the chance to beat the game. I kept this game for all these years. What I like about this game is that we can change the difficulty of the game. Once you start a game, you can't change the difficulty until you do a new game plus. The first time I played the game, I played in normal difficulty, but it was so easy for me that it was boring. So after a few hours, I restarted the game from the beginning and played in hard mode and I love it. The game in hard mode is very fun because it forces you to use advanced strategy to beat bosses and enemies. For example, the dinosaur boss in normal mode was too easy, but in hard mode, he destroyed my team in three turns. I also tried the impossible difficulty because I was curious and the game is not joking in that difficulty. I was game over by the first enemy I saw. It really is impossible. I love the boss music of the game. It makes me want to dance. This game was a Pokemon, it will be a dragon type Pokemon. Dead or Alive 3. I tested Dead or Alive 3 on an Xbox One game. This is a 3D fighting game. What I love about this game is the team battle mode because it's fun to do a 2 on 2 battle. If this game was a Pokemon, it will be a fighting type Pokemon. Panzer Dragoon Orta Panzer Dragoon is a third person arcade shooter where you control a pilot with a flying dragon. In this game, you shoot before asking questions. This game is a flying dragon type Pokemon. Gun Valkyrie Gun Valkyrie is a very unique action game where you fight enemies with many types of firearms and your character can fly for a few seconds. Each levels have a different mission like reaching the destination, 
finding items or killing all enemies. But this game have a one very big weakness. The controls are bad. Your character is too sensible to do precise actions like aiming, jumping on a platform and flying. This game is fun but the control can be a deal breaker for some people. This game is a fire type Pokemon because we use because it uses firearm and fire are hard to control. Killer Instinct Killer Instinct is a 2D fighting game with an advanced combo system. I played the first Killer Instinct a long time ago on the Super Nintendo when I was a kid. This game is a mix between Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. Like I skipped the Xbox One console, it's my chance to play game exclu exclusive game that I missed. I brought a fight pad to play this game. This fight pad is more adapted to play this game and I feel at home with this controller because it's very similar to the 6 button controller of the Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis is a console I played a lot when I was a kid and I discovered a lot of fighting game on it. Killer Instinct is known to have this word co -co 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 Combo Breaker A technique to defend yourself against the combo of your opponent. Killer Instinct is a fighting type Pokemon, or should I say, it's a f -f 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 fighting type Pokemon. King of Fighting Your Wave King of Fighting Your Wave is a traditional 2D fighting game where we do a 3 vs 3 ba team battle. The King of Fighter game are known for this. Because this is an SNK game, the final boss is impossible to beat. Because in SNK game, a character in final boss mode is 3 times stronger than a normal character, they have cheap special moves and they can read your mind by reacting to the button that you are pressing. If you played an SNK fighting game like Fatal Fury, Art of Fighting, The Last Blade, Samurai Showdown, and King of Fighter, you know exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about an SNK final boss. Even the best player in the world, who made it in the top 8 in huge tournament, have a hard time against some SNK final bosses. 8 years ago, I made a movie about the top 75 fighting game bosses where I explain all of this in details. This game is a fighting type Pokemon. Forza Horizon 5 Forza Horizon 5 is an open world racing game. The 4K graphic is very very beautiful. But the first time I played, I was creeped out because the narrator and the NPC of the game called my created character by my real name, Patrick. Salut Patrick on a lancé tout un tas de nouvelles épreuves. À toi de jouer. Salut Patrick. On a lancé tout un tas de nouvelles épreuves. À toi de jouer. Salut Patrick. 
On a lancé tout un tas de nouvelles épreuves. À toi de jouer. Salut Patrick. On a lancé tout un tas de nouvelles épreuves. À toi de jouer. Ok Patrick. Nouvelle distinction repérée. Wow, wow, wow. Comment tu connais mon nom Hein It was really creepy. I checked out the video game forums in both French and English and I was not the only one who was creeped out by this. This game knows everything about you. It knows your favorite food, your weakness and it can even predict your future. I think this game was made by a sorcerer that sells your info to huge companies to research their clients. This game is obviously a psychic Pokemon type. Demon Slayer Demon Slayer is a 3D arena fighting game based on the manga of the same name. The story mode of this game follows the event of the manga. We unlock other characters by playing the story mode. This is a story of a demon hunter named Tanjiro. Tanjiro is a demon hunter who can control water. One day, a demon killed almost everyone in his family and her little sister, Nezuko, survived but she got turned into a demon. But unlike other demons, she is a good demon. Now Tanjiro is looking for a way to turn her sister back into a human. This fun fighting game was is very easy to pick up. This game is a water dark type Pokemon. That's enough. Elden Ring. Elden Ring is an open world RPG that gives you the freedom to experience your adventure the way you want. The game has a lot of unpredictable elements. For example, you can enter a dungeon and suddenly they are trapped everywhere with waves of enemies attacking you. Or you can enter a cave and boom, out of nowhere a huge monster appears and kills you in one shot. Boom! Elden Ring is fun because of its insane unforgiving difficulty. Most bosses that I met so far were strong enough to kill me in one direct hit. So I had to be very careful when I had to fight them. Elden Ring is not a perfect game but it has the chance of becoming the game of the year. This game is a grass type Pokemon because the the plants in the open world environment are very beautiful. Rare Replay Rare Replay is a collection of 30 games made by Rare Studio between 1983 and 2008. We found games like Banjo Kazooie, Killer Instinct Gold, Battle Toad, Cameo. Perfect Dark and Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Some game that was originally on the Nintendo 64 have improved controls for the modern day gaming system. For example, Jet Force Germany is a third person shooter on the Nintendo 64, but the Nintendo 64 only had one analog stick. But because the Xbox Series X, have two analog sticks, the control got improved. This collection is a big deal because it only costed me 20 Canadian dollars. The original version of the game cost a lot. For example, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, Conquer's Bad Fur Day can cost over $250 on eBay. This game is a rock type Pokemon because this collection is a gold mine. Blinks. Blinks is a platformer for the Xbox One that came out in 2002. You control a character who has the power to control time. He can go backward in time, 
freeze time, slow time, advance time, and make a copy of himself with time manipulation. Blink's ability is more powerful than my mustache because when he dies, he can resurrect himself by going back in time. If you watch the anime of Naruto, it's similar to the Izanagi ability. Blinks have the power to travel between worlds. He wants to save the planet of the girl he loves because her planet was invaded by the army of the final boss. Microsoft wanted to create a mascot for the Xbox just like Sonic and Mario, but Blinks was abandoned in favor of Master Chief as, ex as Xbox mascot because he was more popular. It's similar to Alex Kidd who was replaced by Sonic as Sega's mascot. This game is a nice type Pokemon because Blinks can freeze time. Pokemon Legend This is Pokemon Legend Arceus. This is an open world Pokemon game that took place hundreds of years in the past. Do you see this? Eww! It looks like a PlayStation 2 game. Even if the graphic is incredibly bad, the game is really, really fun. You can hide to attack or catch Pokemon by surprise. The battle happens in the overworld for a smooth transition to keep the action going and you keep all the special attacks that you learned. But you can only equip 4 at a time. Magikarp is my favorite Pokemon. He is weak, but once he evolves, he will take his revenge. If Magikarp is not in the next Pokemon game, I will not buy the game. Wait a minute. You are telling me that this is a Nintendo Switch game? Yes, you are correct. But I had no choice. I had a dream that Magikarp told me to do it. And I am not risking making Magikarp mad. Pokemon Legend is a water dragon type because Magikarp is the best Pokemon. It's not an opinion, it's a fact. Raiden 4 Raiden 4 is a vertical shoot them up game. You control a warship that shoots everything it sees, but you need to be able to dodge enemy fire. The gameplay is very smooth and when I played this on the Xbox Series X, I did not see any slowdown because it's taking advantage of the power of the new generation of Xbox. This game is a fly type Pokemon. Dead or Alive 4 just like Dead or Alive 3 on the Xbox One, Dead or Alive 4 on the Xbox 360 is a 3D fighting game. In resume, it's an improved version of the third game because of my mustache. This is an easy to play but difficult to master game. This game is a fighting type Pokemon. Halo 3 Halo 3 is a first-person shooter. This Xbox 360 game works very well on the Xbox Series X. Master Chief is the mascot of Microsoft thanks to the success of the first Halo on the Xbox One in the early 2000s. Now that I think about it, Gun Valkyrie is a third-person shooter and Halo 3 is a first-person shooter but this raises a question. Does a second person shooter exist? Is it even possible to make a second person shooter? I won't be able to sleep tonight because of this existential question. Halo 3 is an electric type Pokemon. Indivisible. This is indivisible on the Xbox One. It's a mix between a platform game and an RPG. The 2D graphic of this game is amazing. 
This game has two phases, the exploration phase and the battle phase. During the exploration phase, you navigate the level while solving puzzles. In the battle phase, you can choose four characters to control in a real-time battle. Each button controls a different character. This type of battle system is very fun because it engages you a lot in battle. Furthermore, the story of this game is very interesting, thanks to the character development. For example, in this game, you control Anja, a girl with spiritual powers who wants to discover the secret of her origins, but she has to, she has no choice to team up with Dar. Da is the boy who killed her father in front of her. Extremely annoying. Yeah, that's my dad's murderer. I don't know what his name is. I have told you, my name is Dar. I am the newly appointed lieutenant. Now Anja and Da need to work together to face a common enemy. The story between these two characters who hate each other is very well written. Apologizing isn't enough. I took someone precious to you, and I can never bring him back. Please, Ajna, let me offer my services to you as penance. You don't have to like me. I don't. Indivisible is a ghost-type Pokemon. This is the end of my video. Thank you all for watching. I'm still working on my fourth movie. It's taking longer than expected. I work on it every single day since January 2022. And I finished about 70% of the movie. In this movie, Bigfoot Yeti Sasquatch escaped from prison. He will fight the Kolo non-stop for three weeks. It will be one of the best fight scene in my channel history. I look forward to show you my hard work, but I'm asking all of you to be a little bit more patient. Bye everyone, I love you all because of my mustache. See you next time.